so the COVID-19 crisis obviously created seismic shifts across the labour market. How has it impacted the life and chemical sciences sector? So, as you can imagine, the, both the sectors were really intrinsic in, in terms of Scotland's response to COVID-19. And that was through a number of different activities. So it was um, the development and manufacture of COVID-19 testing, uh, the manufacturing of PPE um, equipment and anti-back um, equipment, so the hand sanitizers that we use, and we're all very familiar with now, um, through to the research and development of vaccines, uh, the manufacturing of those vaccines, and also the supply chain. So we've really seen a big pivot um, for life and chemical sciences companies very quickly responding to, to COVID-19. And what that meant is actually there was significant demand for individuals within that space um, across both technical roles and also those more operational roles. So thinking about the scientists, but also thinking about all those supporting functions as well within both life and chemical sciences. So things that you wouldn't automatically have assumed, like warehousing staff members, they needed to have the um, additional skills of actually being able to handle the products in a safe mannerism that wouldn't then um, cause any contamination of products in such a delicate space. So we've seen such a big shift in the sector last year. We're now then continuing to feel the effects of, of COVID-19. It it's, seems strange to say COVID-19 and in the same sentence opportunities, um, but really the sector has been able to, to grasp a hold of the opportunities and what we're keen to do is actually continue that positive legacy for Scotland. So we're seeing, um, and quite rightly so, in the past year there's been significant investment financially within um, life and chemical sciences from public sector but also from the private sector um, and we want to ensure that we can continue that momentum and allow the individuals to make use of that. They can progress their career, be that if you're an entry, newly just coming out of the education sector, or if actually you've been in the sector for a number of years and you think, do you know what, there's a real opportunity for me to either progress in my career or maybe to change and do something completely different. So it's a really exciting time to be um, operating within life and chemical sciences space within Scotland. And it's about making sure that Scotland remains on the map as one of the forefront leaders within life and chemical sciences space.